Hello folks, Jason Chrisman, JC's Bees, Central Ohio Beekeeper. Do dogs like honey? Today we're going to find out. We're going to give Ladybug, my dog, a sample of honey and we're going to see how she responds. I think you might be uh, a little bit amused. I know I was. I also want to talk a little bit about experimenting going into winter. I've had a lot of people tell me, you know, your suggestions are great, but I've got other people telling me to do it a different way what do I do? And we're going to talk a little bit about that. So first, let's see if Ladybug likes honey. Get you a bib on girl. Honey's all sticky. You don't want to get that all over your body. Okay, now we're going to try a honey tasting girl. Everybody wants to know, does Ladybug really like honey? We're going to find out today, girl. Yeah, so what we've got here is some of 2019's honey crop on the bottom. What we've got is some uh, creamed honey, and I'm waiting for the rest to continue thickening up. But what's on top is kind of runny. Ladybug keeps sniffing the spoon. Okay, here we go. Let's we'll see if she likes it. Ladybug like honey? She says it's not peanut butter, Dad, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good stuff. And bees do some good stuff. And bees are amazing, Daddy. Oh, yeah. I like that. That's good stuff, Dad. Mm-hmm. There you go, folks. The verdict is in. Ladybug does like honey. <laughs> now, I did a little bit of research, and you shouldn't give your dogs a whole lot of honey, especially if they're overweight. And Ladybug, she definitely falls in that in that category. Don't you, Ladybug? That's another whole topic right there, isn't it, girl? There you go. Cleaned every bit off. Oh, she didn't get the bottom. There you go, folks. Ladybug has cleaned every bit of the spoon. And she seems to really like honey. Good job, girl. Now let's take this bib off where you start running around the yard and you get all tangled up. Good job. Good job, Lee Bug. You proved a point. Dogs do like honey. You just shouldn't give them too much. She's watching me put the lid on the jar like, I don't get no more. That was good stuff, Dad. So, experimenting. I know you're probably overwhelmed with all the different suggestions that you're either hearing from your bee club, other beekeepers in your area, or here on YouTube. So let me give you a, a little suggestion. If you've got more than one colony, maybe experiment this year. Um, let's say for instance, you're not sure whether you should do like I do and leave the screen bottom opened all winter. You're thinking maybe you should just switch to a solid bottom or leave the sticky board under the screen bottom blocking it off. So here's my suggestion. Maybe take one colony and put a solid bottom under it. The next colony, put a screen bottom under it, leave it open. With the screen bottom colony, um, maybe provide uh, an entrance at the very top of the colony. Um, that way you get the benefits that I've explained with, with the air coming up through the bottom and helping push moisture out through the top entrance, therefore it not dripping back on the bees. The other colony, do your uh, solid bottom board and then it would be your decision whether you, whether you want to provide the upper entrance or not. I know there's some new research that says that the bees are losing a lot of heat um, due to that top entrance. So if that's something you're concerned about, maybe you need to experiment. Maybe you're wanting to try um, a solid bottom board with a quilting box. Who knows? Um, I don't know all the different scenarios that you're, you're struggling with. But I just wanted to throw out, don't be afraid to experiment. That's how I've got to where I feel comfortable with the screen bottom boards open all winter long. I've experimented enough winters that I know it works for me. It may not work for you, but you know, I'm hearing several beekeepers all over the place saying they use screen bottom boards and they do the same thing, open all winter long. But then there are those that are skeptical. So 
you've got to kind of figure out what works for you. And I know that's not an easy decision, but that's where we're at. It's time to make those decisions and, and get the steps taken care of. So there you go, folks. You ever wonder what Ladybug's doing while I'm recording the video? Sometimes you see her running around in the back of the video. Today she's sunbathing. Check her out. She doesn't even know we're talking about her, folks. So, when we got Ladybug, uh, last August 2020, um, we weighed her when we got her. She was three years old when we got her. She's now four. And uh, she weighed 83 pounds. Very solid dog. American bullies, they got some thickness and girth to them. We weighed her the other day because my wife said she's becoming a small sausage because she's gaining so much weight. And we argued back and forth a little bit. She thinks, she was thinking she was close to 100 pounds and I said, there's no way she's 100 pounds. Um, so I weighed her. In a year, Ladybug's gained 10 pounds. She's now 93 pounds. What I don't understand about that is I feed her the best dog food I can buy. $44 for a 26 pound bag. Uh, what is it called? Something wild. I don't know. It's got only the finest ingredients in it. And she really likes her salmon flavored dog food. So I guess she needs more exercise. When we got Ladybug, um, the family that had her before us lived in Columbus, Ohio, right downtown. Now that Ladybug's living out here in the country, I'm thinking you know, she's probably not getting the exercise she once did. When she was in Columbus, I imagine her owners put the leash on her and walked her. Whereas we're here, we just open the door and let her outside. She stays right in the yard. She has no desire to go to the neighbors or out in the road. She stays right in the yard. And if I'm out here, she's usually right with me. The problem is, is she doesn't really do a whole lot of exploring on her own except for what you see here in my videos when she's running around behind me in the bee yard um, she's actually quite well she's lazy i won't lie <laughs> she doesn't like to walk more than she has to matter of fact if i was to get up right now and head towards the house like i'm going in she will sit in the driveway where i just showed you until she realizes hey, he's seriously going in, and then she'll come towards the door. Otherwise, she'll sit in the driveway and watch me to see, is he coming back? Do I need to move? <laughs> it's kind of comical, really, but in the long run, it's probably a little bit sad. So what I need to do is I need to get in the habit of putting the leash on Ladybug and taking her for a walk on a daily basis. So this is going to take a little bit more effort on my part, a little bit more time on my part, but... When you love your dog, you gotta do what you gotta do. And Ladybug is a special part of our family, in case you can't tell. Uh, that dog, she just brings so much joy and, and love and laughter into our life. I don't know what we'd do without her. So I wanna keep her healthy and I'm gonna try and get her down below 80 pounds. For an American bully, that's about where they should be. Not 93. My little sausage is getting a little fat. So, that's where things lie with Ladybug. We're going to be walking her a little bit more. And hey, who knows? Maybe I'll take you along on one of these walks in the future. Show you some of our country scenery out here. But anyway, I just wanted to share a little insight on Ladybug, weight gain, and exercise, lack of exercise. <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I know Ladybug sure enjoyed all the extra air time this week. I enjoyed talking about her. She's a good dog. So if you like this video, throw me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next week, folks. Thanks for watching. JC's Bees.